hello guys in this video I'm just going to show you how to fix filament sensor on Prusa i3 MK3S so basically there's a problem with the most of the with, with some of the uh, users that their filament sensor doesn't work and the problem is basically it is the filament sensor lever and um, and it's all the time showing the filament is inside so in this video I use Arduino just to show you how I fix uh, the problem if I place the filament sensor in its place it changed to zero which is not right it means that the this the plastic part is a little bit uh, bigger and what this does um, basically it block the sensor so all the time the sensor reads basically there is a filament in which is not right at when it's empty I mean when there is no filament it should be one As you can see, I placed back the sensor, and uh, what you see here, as I move the filament sensor, the value has to change from zero to one. So basically, when it's zero, it means there is there is filament inside the extruder body, and if there is no filament, it should be uh, it should be one so when there is a filament it should be zero and when it's not filament it should turn one but as you can see it all the time is in zero it means the filament uh, lever the filament sensor lever block the switch all the time and what i'm about to do just cut slightly off the uh, lever right this is the closer look on the filament sensor lever so the problem with the most of the case is the part and there is a, a slightly edge at this point this part uh, at the top of the part there is a a slightly plate that goes between the sensor filament sensor and in most of the case this filament sensor is slightly longer and it needs to be trimmed so what I've done in my case I cut about half a millimeter I cut literally this much off the edge and I turn it to look like this from the way it was so it was like this so after the cut it looks like this very easy fix and it works well um, uh, I, di I didn't have my 3D printer ready so I can check it on the software uh, on the display so what I've done, I just used Arduino to read the sensor, which is just the electric switch. And you see, as the sensor got loose, the values change. So that's the way it should be. So I slightly cut, as you can see, just a little. And now I'm gonna place it back and try it again, see how it works. So 
so you can see the value is 1 as it moves it goes 0 that's the way it should work so now I know my filament sensor is working and that's the way it should be alright and as you can see the filament sensor working flawlessly and that's it for this video if you got something from this video please give me a thumbs up like share and consider to subscribe for more thanks for watching